Okay, I'm going to show you how to very quickly just add some text to the end of a video. So here we're going to use iMovie for this example. I'm using iMovie 6. Uh, if you have a newer version, it, like iMovie 11, it's going to be way different. So uh, you'll have to look for some different tutorial. Anyway, so I'm sent to this video here called My Father's War. And they want to just add some text to the end of it. Right now it just kind of ends at black and they want to add this text. So what I'm going to do is launch iMovie, create a new project. Now, this video, first thing I do is I check, I check the size of the video. I open it in, in QuickTime and I hit Command I on my keyboard and that brings up the inspector and I can see that this video is 64040, so it's standard definition. If it was 1280 by 720, that would mean it was, you know, uh, a high def. But I, I, I know I want I know this one is a square, four by three, you know, so that's the size of the video. So what that means is when I create a project, there's no point in creating a 1080 or 720p high def version because it's it's uh, it's standard def. So I'm going to create a DV. DV is four by three. If this video was it was standard def but it was widescreen, I would select widescreen. So anyway, so DV. And I'll call this add text and I will click create. Do 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 and here is the video popped up over here. And so now what I do is one thing just to check, go into your preferences. And if you go here to import, there's a setting here called automatic DV pillar boxing and letterboxing. Just be aware of that setting because there's sometimes when you might import, say, a widescreen video and it might letterbox it weird, it might be because of that setting. So just be kind of aware of that settings there. All right, so uh, I'm going to find the video, My Father's War, and I'm going to drag and drop it into there. And we're going to wait for it to import. And this might take a couple minutes. Reason being that this original video is a H.264 codec. It's right now it's taking that codec and it's changing it into DV video. And boom. All right, so here's the video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the video, uh, which is here, it's kind of like a, I don't know, pretend the video is just sitting there. We're gonna drag and drop it into our timeline. Now I'm gonna take my cursor, or sorry, playhead, I'm gonna move it to the end because I want my text to go to the end. I'm gonna go here to editing, titles, and then you kind of choose the title that's best for you. Uh, try to avoid the like star wipes and cheesy ones. I mean, if that's what the effect you're going for, use those. But I just want some simple, simple text here at the end. So I'm gonna go to the email where the text was sent to me and I'm just gonna copy it. And then I'm gonna go here and I'm going to go, um, one that's good for a lot of text is music video. And I'm gonna paste in the text and two, and then uh, you kind of just click over here to preview it, or hit enter. There, so you kind of have to re-click on it to make it pop up. But there, there's all the text. Music video is the best for putting in a lot of text. Uh, there's also like title, I think there's one up here called title or center title. Center title works good, but not for a lot of text, but maybe it's better for you. But because I have a lot of text, I'm gonna use music video. Unfortunately, you can't center it. It's either left or right by clicking these two buttons. And here you can change the size like that. So I'll choose say about, say there, that looks okay. And uh, you can choose your font and whatever. And here's the, the speed. This, this is how many seconds it's going to last. By default, it's 10. I'll change this just to say 5 seconds. Now, how do I get this into our uh, video? I can click here. No, I can't. i got to click here where it says um, music video. Click and drag that down. And now it's kind of render, so that's the little bar here is moving. So now it's taken that five seconds of video that we created and inserted it into here. And now uh, our video will play. And then boom, here is our uh, here's our text that we've created. So now we're going to go to so now our video say done. Of course, I would save my project, and I will go export QuickTime expert settings don't bother if you're using quicktime 6 don't or yeah iMovie 6 don't use these crappy ones go to expert settings share we're sharing this for the web so we want the h264 codex so uh, i'll call this you know um, my father's 
war with text. And we're gonna go options, settings, H.264. If it's ever for the web, if you're uploading to YouTube or anything, it's always H.264 is the best codec. Um, usually I say automatic keyframes. Single pass, multi-pass if you have a lot of time. Single pass is a lot faster. Depends how much time you have. Uh, data rate, I'll make this say like 2,000 or say whatever, 3,000. A really good quality. And I'll go OK. And size. Currently it's 720 by 480. You could leave that or you could go to 640, 480. Uh, I'll just leave that here. And um, deinterlace, uh, we should deinterlace this video. Uh, you might want to test this to see. Basically if you export the video and if the video has weird lines going through it and it looks kind of bad, then you want to deinterlace it. Uh, and the deinterlacing gets rid of those weird lines and sound, AAC, stereo, put this to 128, and there we go. Can't hurt to check that box. There you go, and then we hit save, and now our video is done. So now our video is gonna export, and it will have all of that text on there. And we can upload it to YouTube or whatever. Now, okay, I'm gonna cancel this video now. I just wanna show you, let's say that our video was widescreen. Let's say we had gone new, and let's say we had gone to uh, say HDV 720p, say it was a high def video. I'll just go create. And we, you know, here's our high def video now. See it's widescreen of course. So now I would go, um, I would say I would drag in my video and it would be all widescreen and everything. And again, if it has a weird letter boxing, then we're going to Make sure this is either off or on, depending. If, if, if it's letterbox inside of the letterbox, then you want to maybe turn that off. All right. Uh, again, I'm going to go here to music video. And I would just drag that in. Oh, it's set to 10 seconds, so I would change it to 5 seconds. Uh, drag and drop this in. Boom. File. Export. Now I would go... Expert settings, share, call it migrate movie um, 720p, and uh, I'm going to go options. Now, because this video is larger, I want to up my data rate to about 5,000. That's what YouTube recommends. Uh, if I have a lot of time, I'll do multipass, but I probably won't notice the difference. And uh, of course, H.264 codec. I'm going to go to size. Size is going to be nice, 1280 by 720. Now, deinterlace. Do I need to deinterlace? Probably not, um, because when you imported your video, it's all 720p already. It's already progressive, so you shouldn't have those lines. Uh, but you know, if you export it and you realize there's weird lines going through your videos, uh, then you'd want to deinterlace. So. I'm going to turn that off. And uh, of course, I, I would have sound turned on. I would have AAC uh, 128 kilobit. Hit OK and hit save. And then I'll have my HD video uh, with text. The end.